Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So quite a few people left some comments on my one year body transformation with calisthenics saying that I was on the juice and I was not full natty bra as some people would call in the bodybuilding movement. And if you're someone that doesn't know what juice is, juice is steroids, which can also be a form of testosterone in injectable or oral form. So was I taking it during that transformation and am I still taking it now if I was taking it then? And what I have to say is no, I took no juice whatsoever during that one year transformation. I never have done in my whole entire lifetime. There was one point during that year transformation where I made a video saying that I was going to start getting on the juice to show people the results that you can get naturally and also with juice to compare them both together but as I mentioned in a follow-up video shortly after that I decided that I was not going to get on the juice to many different reasons and if you haven't seen both of those videos I'll link them one after the other up above I first link the one where I said I was going to get on juice and then shortly after that at the top there'll be a link where it is the link to the video talking about why I decided to not get on the juice and why I will not take it in the future as well and what I have to say to the people that asked that and what I would say to the people that ask that question is if I was actually going to be taking a juice and I had been taking juice I would have definitely gained a lot more muscle mass within that one year period and obviously a different forms of steroids will give you different results so if you're taking Deca or Trent they are going to give you the most muscle gains possible and things like Winstrol and other different forms are not going to give you such great results and I am very knowledgeable on this subject because it interests me a lot and I've studied it a lot so this is why I know about the different forms of these but yeah for me it's like I could get results quicker but the negative unwanted short-term and long-term side effects and when you come off the cycle and how it can affect your mood and then how it can affect your intimate connections with fellow females so to speak is just not the type of path that I want to go down it's just not worth the risk at all and I'm someone that is very health conscious I am a health coach as well and I have been in to natural healing and health for a very long time so yeah it's not really in alignment with my morals and also with my health path and journey and as a health practitioner as well so yeah, that is a simple reason why I've not chosen to go down that route and I just feel it's completely unnecessary. I love being completely natural and yet it will take me longer to get the results that I want to because yeah, I'm always continually progressing with my body and reaching towards higher strength gains and better physique gains and more muscle mass and lower body fat. But yeah, I'd rather go down all the natural routes and I do so many different things on a regular basis to optimize testosterone production, also human growth hormone production, lower my insulin as much as possible and also improve my insulin sensitivity. And if you don't know about these different things that I've mentioned, testosterone, when you have optimal levels, it optimizes the muscle mass that you can gain when training and recovering after the training where the muscles actually grow. And it also reduces your body fat percentage. And when you're actually increasing it naturally, it will lower estrogen levels, which so many people have estrogen dominance issues, which causes things such as gyno, and it also causes you to gain excess body fat and it makes you lose muscle mass as well. But unlike steroids or testosterone, which most of them out there, when you take them, actually raises your estrogen levels as well. So that's why a lot of people will take estrogen blockers. When you're doing natural ways, you don't have that issue occurring. So the natural ways are so much more better for that. And the ways that I achieve those results with like testosterone for increasing them, the main one is through daily intermittent fasting. I actually eat one meal a day and the longer that you fast, throughout the day with intermittent fasting, the greater production of testosterone you'll get. And with men, it's shown in scientific research, and there's many different studies out there saying different amounts, but anywhere from 200 to 400% that your natural testosterone levels will go up. And when it comes to human growth hormone, it is shown that your human growth hormone levels can go anywhere up to 2,000% with men and around 1,300% with females. And I forgot to mention for females with testosterone, your testosterone levels with intermittent fasting can go up by about 100% or so when 
doing it. And the brilliant thing again, just by doing intermittent fasting to naturally increase my human growth hormone levels, unlike the synthetic injectable forms of human growth hormone, which is not very cheap as well, just like steroids and testosterone can be quite costly, it's completely free with intermittent fasting and you don't get all these unwanted short-term and negative long-term health effects, mentally and physically, holistically. And also, the intermittent fasting massively lowers insulin, which is a fat storage hormone. So if you want to optimize your body fat percentage and get a very ripped muscular body, you really want to be lowering insulin as much as possible. And also while you're in that fasted state and insulin goes low, glucagon, which is a protein, goes up the production of this in the body, which allows your body to burn its own body fat as fuel. So all of these benefits are gonna optimize your muscle mass growth as much as possible whilst reducing that body fat percentage. And it's also just gonna give you an abundance of energy. It's also just gonna make you feel more confident within yourself. It's gonna make you more productive. It's gonna help you get rid of things like apathy. It's gonna improve your sex drive. It's gonna improve your sleep. The benefits are so far reaching and then alongside doing intermittent fasting also take specific supplements on a regular basis to boost testosterone so things such as zinc shilajac powder and many other different beneficial nutrients that are natural to actually boost my testosterone levels in a natural healthy way and i usually take certain b vitamins such as vitamin b3 which has shown about three hours after taking a high dose of it that you're human growth hormone levels skyrocket for around a two hour period. So I make sure that I'm doing so many different things within my everyday lifestyle and my diet that just help optimize all of those different hormones that I've mentioned in this video in detail. So what I have to say is all those different things that I've been doing consistently over the year of transforming my body and still up to this current moment at point are the things that help me get the results as quickly as possible alongside the consistent discipline with training, with calisthenics, and actually training correctly to maximize muscle growth with calisthenics. And if you're someone that hasn't seen my number one mistake when growing muscle with calisthenics, that video specifically on that topic that I posted yesterday, I highly recommend you go and check that because so many people with calisthenics are making the mistake that I did early on in my journey and it actually stopped me from gaining results even faster than I did within that one year period. So yeah, if you're someone that wants to optimize human growth hormone production and lower insulin as much as possible and optimize testosterone levels, just do so much research that you possibly can on YouTube and online through Google and other search engines and other different resources and read books on the subject and just do as many of them as you possibly can can and if you'd like me to make specific videos talking about all the different things in a lot of detail that can help optimize those things that i've just mentioned let me know down below and i will make them as soon as possible because i know of so many different things that you can do to get those amazing benefits so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below as always and i get back as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think needs to learn about what I shared with you today in this video. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you subscribe, the type of videos you can expect to get from me are on topics such as intermittent fasting, one meal a day, eating a plant-based diet, calisthenics workout, and progression videos, what I eat in a day and do in a day videos, and all different types of videos to teach you so much valuable information to send you in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you and you wanna be notified of when they are uploaded, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.